I have figured out how to connect a TI-84 Plus graphing calculator to a Nintendo DS touchscreen. Um, about a month ago I started learning assembly program pre programming for the calculator and the first project that I did to help myself learn that was to uh, write a little program that uses the link port to communicate over UART protocol which is what many electronic devices use um, to communicate and to be controlled by. Um, the touchscreen is connected through a processor to the calculator. Um, the processor figures out the coordinates of the pen and relays that information to the calculator. Um, I've created hooks for my uh, assembly program to BASIC so that I can write a TI BASIC program and have it gather data from the touchscreen. Uh, if I run this program you can see that as I draw with the pen stuff appears on the screen where I'm drawing. Uh, there are dots because the sampling rate is rather low. Um, I'm going to increase it as I increase the reliability of the transfer of the information. Um, to get around that, I've created another program that uses lines. Uh, it's a lot smoother, but as you can see, if I let go, it goes kind of crazy um, because I don't have pull-up resistors on the touchscreen input, so uh, it just goes floating when it's not connected. Um, for the technical amongst you, Inside this Altoids tin, I have the processor uh, that's interpreting the touchscreen data, and uh, it's an Arduino. Uh, the touchscreen is a, is standard four wire resistive um, Nintendo DS touchscreen, and it's just I've used a uh, standard TI eighty four plus link cable, and it's just tied right into the Arduino's. Um, UART interface and the touchscreen goes right into the analog port on here. Um, it's driven off of a 9 volt battery. Uh, for the really technically gifted amongst you, I know that the Arduino is incredible overkill for this project. Uh, when I'm done, I'm going to use an ATiny 13 to do the processing and interpreting of the touchscreen data and I should be able to fit the entire thing inside the calculator and run it off the calculator's own power source so that the whole thing looks pretty uh, pretty much like a legit normal calculator. Uh, if I disconnect the coprocessor and kind of just take the case off, um, the case fits pretty much right over the touchscreen. So when it's done, uh, it'll work pretty well and look pretty normal. Um, thanks for watching.